Hey everybody, welcome to Ellis Mowers. I appreciate y'all watching the channel as always. Behind me I have what I guess I could consider to be the unsung hero of the channel over the past five years, which basically has hauled every mower home that y'all have seen on the channel, especially riding mowers. And that's this 5 by 8 trailer. So, I've had this thing almost 10 years, bought it new, back when you could get trailers from Lowe's for like 600 bucks. Bought it on Easter weekend, and I have used the mess out of it since. And it has been an awesome trailer. Um, Y'all saw my last video of the trade deal that I did for the Poland Pro riding mower, which is behind it, and the Troy Built Pony, which is over here uh, to my right. I said that I was uh, getting to the point where I was getting tired of having to um, cram two mowers on this thing sideways. Um, and so I started looking for a new trailer and I have found it and I will show it to y'all in just a second if you haven't watched my Instagram or my Facebook. But uh, I do want to say that this trailer has served me extremely well for nine years. If you are just getting started in doing small engines and stuff, a trailer is a necessity. And you can still find one of these if you go on the used market for about five or six hundred dollars if you're lucky. You got to get them quick. If you go new like I did, they're probably a little over a thousand dollars now after you add tax and title. Um, and then I added a spare and stuff like that. I have a spare that's going to be going to this trailer that I'm going to show y'all in just a second. Um, like I said, this thing has hauled hundreds of mowers. Hundreds of mowers. We've had 20 push mowers on here at once. Two, multiple times with two riding mowers. Um, it has had a shed on it. It has had a cab do a truck on it. This thing has done everything that we have ever asked for it to do. And I have, I've only had to replace one tire and that was because of my error. So I'm still rolling on the original tires. This thing proves that you don't need to spend a lot of money to get into this business. Y'all see the truck that I drive, the trailer that I have here. Between the two, I had $1,500, well, maybe less than $2,000 in the whole, the whole deal. And we've just been running. Anyways, enough about this. Let me show you what I got. Uh, but I just want to put this aside to say I will miss this trailer, but um, I'm excited because I'm now going to be able to haul more. Let me show you what I got. All right, guys, let me show you what it is. This is a 6x14 single axle trailer. Um, I wanted a single axle still to save weight but I also wanted something at least six feet wide I was looking at a six by twelve or larger and ended up with this so as you can see we'll take a look at the mowers while we're here because this is a mower channel we didn't go 48 hours after buying the trailer to putting it to work and I'll show you exactly why this is a lot easier now uh, as you can kind of see already it is used about 10 years old it was repainted this is not your standard carry-on trailer this was i think it was a custom built trailer from what i can see i looked up the um, person or the company that sells these trailers and these are actually metal almost like rub rails that are original you can see the welds have broken in a few places but they're all here and can all be repaired if I needed to, but they work just fine right now. Um, while we're looking, let's look at, so it was A1 Hitch and Trailer Sales in Supply, North Carolina, which is near the coast. Uh, and they build trailers like this new, actually. Uh, the reason why I think this one's a custom build is because they don't have a 6x14 listed on their website. They may have been able to sell it before, but we've got, like, those tubes back there seem to be original or they look they're pretty darn close because the welds look real good on them and you can just kind of see the overall quality of the trailer you can kind of see right here too welds are pretty thick this has got a big um what do they call this like a little subframe or the frame right here in the middle and then you have your pretty thick what do you call them a arms or whatever that come off of the trailer does have a dexter axle it is a 3500 pound axle 
I'm guessing this trailer probably weighs every bit of a thousand pounds with its uh, modifications and upgrades and whatnot. I knew that I was going to get a going to be getting heavier with the trailer just because you have wood boards instead of a mesh gate like my other one. But if you take a look at what I've done here with the two mowers, anyways, is that I have been able to fit them sideways with ease like I just literally just turned them and then just kind of scooted the back end over and they fit just fine this is exactly the way I brought them home too I didn't even have to strap them down I just got them from my friend uh, Jesse across town uh, he's given me quite a few I not given me I paid for these but I've gotten quite a few items from him they're in great good shape but um Real quick, because this is a mower channel, we'll talk about these mowers real quick while we're here. Uh, this one right here looks like it has had a transplanted 12.5 Briggs. It is a 38 inch six speed. It's got the even. It's got the small itty bitty tires on it too. So I don't know if I'm going to upgrade them to the larger tires or just sell this as a cheap mower. I'll put the 38 inch deck back under it. I think it needs a spindle bearings on one of the spindles does not currently run but it is complete otherwise uh, and then this Bolins here is a 13 and a half the engine seems like it's vibrating a little bit more than usual but it does run I don't see any frame damage or anything and the engine it could just be a just a terrible terrible frame on this thing and so this one's about I don't know 10 or 11 years old it's like I said it's, it's in really good shape um, this one did not come with a deck. He was going to take the deck off of this one and put it on this one. But I have a, I have a couple of options for 42-inch decks here that um, will work if I need them to. So this will probably be getting a 42-inch deck. But as you can see, this right here, y'all have seen many a times, especially on my previous video that I did where I got the Troy build and the Poland Pros. It is a little bit of a chore to literally manhandle these two ride, those two riding mowers on that 5 bait trailer. And I broke the front uh, fascia or the front hood of that Poland Pro trying to get it to where it would be situated on there. These are rolled up, literally just rolled up, turned them to the left, got them, you know, flush with this and slid the back end over. It was, it was a 10 second job. And with the way that these rub rails and stuff are, I just put them in gear and uh, didn't even have to strap them down. And they sit, they sat right here. They didn't bounce around. The 5 bait obviously bounced around a little bit more because of higher tire pressures um, and lighter trailer. This thing doesn't bounce around. This deck right here stayed exactly right here the whole ride home. So, and it was maybe 15 minutes. And I like it because you got protection of the tires. A couple of small little things before we go to the back is that I've noticed that this trailer's probably been overloaded at one point. Uh, based on all the stuff that looks like it was on it with the holes and stuff drilled in, it probably had a big rack here on the front. It was either a construction or landscaping trailer, and I think it had quite a bit of weight on it, especially on the left side which is where that tire is kind of rubbed thin on the inside. If I'm just hauling like three or four riders, that's really not going to be too stressful on the axle here because, you know, these things are like 500 pounds a piece maybe, if that. Um, that's probably generous, actually. Um, probably the heaviest ones are. So if you're talking, if I put three on here, that's 1,500 pounds. That's still 1,000 pounds under the axle rating. So, but... Um, that's what we're that's what's going on here you can see the fenders are a little bit messed up just from probably hitting things or just skirting things uh, the paint job is uh, they use some thick paint but like they didn't even you know take off the little reflector uh, adhesive this tire has a tube in it but it works fine uh, they're about the tires are about two years old wiring works but I am going to put a new pigtail on it because just you can just see like wire nuts and stuff I might actually even wire it all the way to the back if you do look under the trailer it doesn't look like it was brute it was abused 
too bad under here. This trailer was used. I don't know if I'd call it abused. It was just heavily loaded. And it's extremely well built. But I do want to kind of get those wires situated so they're not, that they're not dangling down here. Got a couple of wire nuts in the back. And some of these ties. They just kind of tied some wires together. But those are some things that I can I can deal with and work with. Wiring is not a big deal for me to attempt to fix. So, like I said, the lights work. I don't even have to have lights here in North Carolina. I think it's under 4,000 pounds. So, gate is got a spring load assist. And your little, I'm not going to put it down because it does kind of need two hands to get up. But, you know, spring load assist and you put those out. I've got a, I think I got a two or a three and a quarter inch drop. So I do have a little bit of tilt to the trailer front to back, but that's fine by me because what that does is it lowers the back down and with the gate here, it really makes it a little bit easier to just bring the mowers up on a gentle upslope as opposed to having, you know, that and then that where you can scrape the deck. The hinges on this one as well, which is kind of nice. I just noticed are under the gate and so you have a flat route to get it, your mower onto the trailer which is better than those where the hinges were up and a lot of times or sometimes if the deck was low enough it would actually catch on those hinges so a lot of pluses I don't know if like I said I don't know if these are original or if these were added but I don't know the I mean I guess you could stick like rakes and stuff in them or pipes and or something along those lines in them it could have been a mount for a big rack that they had on top of the trailer i'm honestly not sure um they're just gonna i mean they're welded on though so they're welded on which means that either somebody fabricated this or they did a good job with the welds though from what i can tell because there's a lot better than my welding job see these rub rails are a little a little flimsy in a couple of areas but they're working they, they do what they need to do. And I think I, if I got a trailer this equivalent, I knew it'd probably be almost $1,000 more than what I got in this one. So let's wrap this video up. I just wanted to show you all the trailer around, the opportunities that this trailer has already presented itself with. Two riders on here. Look at how much more room I have. So I know that I can fit three riders comfortably with decks on them like this on here. Squeezing in a squeeze, I can probably get four on here. Or I can at least get two to three larger riders like the LX277 over there. So I'm excited for that. Um, and I just wanted to show you all the trailer and the first load with the new trailer just because I know y'all are interested in that stuff. So let's go ahead and wrap this video up here. All right, guys, so here it is. One last time, we'll wrap this video up. I don't make these videos to brag about, hey, look at me. You know, I just bought a bigger trailer. It's it's mostly, I don't know exactly what it would be, because, or what it would be, but um, I don't know if it just shows you that, like, if you get into this, you can prob you can make good side money, and you can progressively get a little bit better I guess I don't know exactly but y'all have seen me for five years on the channel and nine years um, of ownership of the trailer make a five by eight trailer work first with a Jeep Grand Cherokee and secondly with a truck and uh, with a setup that I had less than two thousand dollars in so it if anything, I want to show y'all that you don't have to have the latest and the greatest equipment to do what you need to do when it comes to small engine repair and and service and equipment and stuff like that. Rolling around in, in a 90, late 90s Ford truck, 10-year-old refurbished trailer, or a 9-year-old mesh gate 5x8 from Lowe's that was less than $600 at the time. Uh, will get you a long ways. The two reasons I may have covered already is that I couldn't fit mowers like the 455 John Deere that I had in for service and larger zero turns that are 60 inch decks and larger. I don't think there's not enough instances to where 
I'll have a mower that won't fit on this trailer for me to justify a seven foot wide trailer. And then also, I've had a lot, so many instances to where I've had two riders that I've needed to pick up at the same time, uh, just on like routes so that I don't have to, you know, ride back home, make multiple trips. And that 5.8 was getting old trying to manhandle those riders. So I figured that for the money, I would make it back fairly quickly and I could justify the purchase of a larger trailer. But if you don't have a lot of money, if you can find yourself a cheap 5 by 8 for like five, 600 bucks, just the little Lowe's mesh gate 5 by 8 will get you a long ways when it comes to doing small engine work. You don't have to put a lot of money in this. So let me know what y'all think of this new trailer. Uh, what do y'all roll around with trailer wise? Do y'all go with a bigger trailer than me? Y'all might haul more mowers. Um, you might see that a bigger trailer is more justifiable or do you roll around with a smaller trailer and uh, improvise like I've done so many times with that 5x8. Um, I don't know if I disclosed the price but I paid $17.50 for the trailer um, after title transfer and getting plates. I am in it uh, still under $2,000, which I'm a little bit more than I wanted to be. I wanted to be around $1,500, but I got two extra feet of deck space when it came to it. Uh, and that two extra feet, I'm sure, is going to come in handy in one instance. It will probably allow me to get up to four riders at one time versus a 6x12, which would really restrict me to three. Only three, when I used to only be able to get two. Y'all can see... The backyard is really full, and we'll be getting to a lot of those projects coming up here in the fall and the winter. So I appreciate all of y'all watching. Um, I hope y'all enjoyed this video of um, sending off the old trailer, so to speak. I will be selling it here, and uh, it will probably be sold by the time this video is done because I don't need two trailers. I'm, uh, I love how light that 5 bait was, but um, I don't have any reason to justify it when I have two trailers and one truck to do the same purpose. So, um, that's it guys. Um, just wanted to share with y'all new trailer because you see it on the channel a lot. You'll be seeing this trailer haul a bunch of stuff in the future. And uh, like I said, you don't need a lot of money to get into this. Uh, get you if you have a truck already or something that's able to pull a trailer, you can get a little 5x8, 6x12, something along those lines, and just roll. Make you some money. Thank you all again for watching. Thank you for all the support as we continue to grow the channel. Over 5,500 subscribers now, which is awesome. And thank you for uh, hearing me babble along here for 15 minutes about trailers. Y'all have a good one. Remember, you can reach out to me, ellis at ellismowers.com or at ellismowers09 on Instagram and Facebook. I'll catch y'all on the next video. See you then.